So I take it back, Walmart. I know I roasted you in the last video. This is really, really small. All right, there is so many awesome new finds dropping, it seems like, by the week on walmart.com. I mean, I have fashion, I even have a rug back here, so we have a lot to get into. As always, everything will be linked below in the description box as well as on the pinned comment, but I'm gonna go ahead and bust into my first box. Also, I'm wearing my first, I think, fall shirt of the season. This one is from Sophia. I have shared it before. This is a really great transitional top because even though it is long sleeves, they're sheer, so not nearly as aggressive as being in a sweater in Texas. Oh my gosh, and we are starting off with a really good item. In one of my last Walmart videos, I talked about how I didn't feel like there were a lot of good fall bags dropping yet and I stand corrected there are some really cute ones that have just dropped so I was able to get my hands on this one. Oh my gosh that this looks just as good in person as it does online and the first thing I thought of when I saw the listing was that it kind of reminded me of a style that you would see from coach this one's from time and true and I think it was around 32 maybe 33 dollars I already think this is such a good bag so I thought this was a tote when I ordered it and it definitely is but it also has the styling of a bucket bag but just here in the front not in the back, which I think is gonna make this bag easier to get in and out of than a traditional bucket bag. And this color they're calling chestnut and espresso, which I think is very spot on. So you have this deeper, warmer brown on the body of the handbag, and then the handles and the details are chocolate brown. So here in the front, you do have a slip pocket that does have a button closure. And then it looks like it also comes with a crossbody strap. So this looks like it's adjustable. So I think you could wear this crossbody or as a shoulder bag, which is probably how I would prefer it over a crossbody. On the main compartment, it does have a zipper closure, which I do like for making sure I keep everything in there. And the inside is one large open compartment, and then you do have one zipper pocket as well. And it's that same really pretty chocolate brown color on the inside. It has a great leather look, and the material is very soft. It doesn't feel like plastic, and it looks like it has kind of a worn, lived-in leather look. It's not a crackle, it's not a distressed. I think this bag is gorgeous. It's also available in a plum color, which I think would look quite nice with the top that I have on. And here's what the bag looks like on the shoulder. I think this is a great everyday bag. It's really spacious. I'm not sure just for the weight of the handles that I would carry necessarily my laptop in this, but this is tablet friendly. You have a lot of space in here for pretty much anything else you need. And the colorway on this is so pretty. It is going to match basically anything this fall. And y'all know I'm always a sucker for any scoop denim. I think I have two different pairs in today's video. And denim always goes so quickly in the fall, but it seems like scoop jeans sell out twice as fast. This pair right here is $26 and it is their stovepipe high rise jean. So this came in two different washes. I went with the dark wash is what they're calling it. I would not consider these dark wash. Basically the difference between the two pairs that are available, one has no whiskering and one does. So retro, no whiskering, dark wash, whiskering. So this is gonna be a high rise jean, which I already have a short torso. So I'm expecting this to be super high rise on me. But definitely what's interesting about it is it's a straight leg jean we're seeing so much baggy wide leg jeans flare jeans so if you're looking for a good straight leg for the fall which i think looks quite nice with a little ankle booty then this is a good one to look at it does have a 29 inch inseam i did get these in a size four which speaking of jeans today i am wearing the free assembly patch pocket jeans so they have these cute little patch pockets in the front they have super flattering yoking on the bum they are a wide leg jean they were a bestseller last year and now they are back so i know they're not gonna last long I think they sold out within the week last year. They're under $30 and I just get them in my typical size. All right, and I can already tell this is gonna be a really good box. I'm seeing metallic. Y'all, Scoop gave us metallic pants this year. I'm so jazzed to try these on. And actually last year I showed silver metallic jeans from Abercrombie and if I think back to the number one pair of jeans that I got asked about last year, it was those. So I'm really excited to see them at Walmart at a much more affordable price point. These I think were around $30. Yeah, these are 29. They have these listed online as denim. They actually are saying that this is gonna be the same fit as the stovepipe jeans, the high-waisted straight jeans that I just showed. This does not feel like denim to me. It kind of feels like a trouser material. So if you're looking for coated denim, that is not what these are, but I think they're gonna actually 
actually be a little bit more comfortable than denim. Looks like they're gonna have a little stretch to them and they do have number sizing. I got these in a size four. Even if you are not ready for full metallic pants right now, come holiday season, think Christmas parties, think New Year's. Oh, these are gonna be so fun. So this next sweater from Free Assembly, I was stalking the link waiting for the sizes to drop. It's a v-neck sweater in this really beautiful brown color. Online, actually, it looks like it leaned more yellow. I much prefer this color in person. It looks like a true brown. That's been happening a lot to me, I will say, with Walmart's photography, but it's been working out in my favor. I have liked everything more in person than I have the color online. So it does have a v-neck and it has this angled stitch right at the top of the sleeve. It has a slight balloon sleeve with a little open stitch detail. I picked this up in a size small. I think it's just gonna be that perfect first layer sweater. It's also available in black and olive and it's $24. All right, I have been talking a lot about the kitten heel. It is a trend that I am on board with. First of all, it's comfortable. I also think it looks really chic. So I bought probably about a year ago some Sam Edelman kitten heels that were over $100. They go with a lot. I was very happy to see that Time and True has done what looks very similar for around $23. Oh my gosh, these are incredible. So they are a pointed toe sling back, a little kitten heel, and it is a functional sling back, so you can adjust it here on the side. And I was surprised to see silver hardware, so I quite like that. Okay, so I think these are really good. I did throw one on. I think they do run true to size, but like all pointed toes, you do start to kind of cram in towards the top of this. So I would recommend maybe breaking these in around your house, wear a pair of socks with them. And then you definitely wanna adjust it to fit on the side. And in general, I find that Walmart shoes have been running a little bit wide. I do not find that to be the case with these. I think they do fit more true to size, but I picked them up in the black, which does have this really nice smooth leather look, but I also got them in silver, which I'm hoping is gonna look nice with my new silver pants. So I love them in the silver. I was really undecided if I thought that was gonna look cheap, but I think they look great whether you wanna really commit to the bit and wear them with the pants. And I do think them being in the metallic dresses them up even more. I think you could wear this to a nice event with a more formal gown. You could wear this as a bridesmaid shoe, a bridal shoe. And whether you get these in the black or the silver, I think this is a good staple shoe for all of those events for the upcoming season. It's so hard to say. I think I might like the silver even better, but they're both really good. So my last Walmart video, I talked about how Sophia didn't do her cutout dress this year, but I was wrong. It just dropped later, which I'm a big fan of this dress, so I was happy to see it. But if you're looking for something really similar, I will link the other Sophia dress that I showed that's actually the same really beautiful pattern as the top that I have on. So this season, this dress does come in three options, a solid black and animal print, and this red marbled. When I saw this online, I also thought this was gonna be more maroon. And although the background is, it's a very bright red. Again, another one that I like better in person. And it also, I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, has this really beautiful gold threading throughout. If you're not familiar with this style, it does have a V neckline. It's a long sleeve that's sheer, like the top that I have on, but you do have elastic at the cuff. It does have very subtle cutouts on the side that are also elastic, which I really like because it's going to fit in the waist. Scoop did a cutout a couple of years ago that wasn't elastic and it kind of just hung like a bell. It didn't fit right. So I do really prefer this one. It does also have elastic in the back and then the bottom is tiered and the whole dress is lined. And this is a dress that can do a lot in your wardrobe. My fall one last year, I wore to several dress year occasions. I even wore it to a fall wedding. I just always look forward to this one dropping and whether you're interested in this one with the cutouts or the style that she did without the cutouts, it is just a very universally flattering dress. I think it looks good on everyone. I picked this up in a size small and it's $34, which is awesome that you can get a full dressier look for $34. Okay, I'm really gonna try to not overuse. This looks different than online, but this color does look a little bit different. It's at least in the same family, but this scoop turtleneck sleeveless top is a little bit darker than it's showing online. This is 
awesome though. I'm going to love this. This actually comes in five colors. I only picked up one color because I wanted to make sure the sizing was correct. I have found the scoop sizing this year to be a little wonky, but if the small works, I'll be ordering this in every color. This is a true turtleneck. It's sleeveless and it's a nice and lightweight. For me and my climate, this is perfect transition wear or honestly deep into fall wear. I know I'm gonna really like it. It also has this ribbing detail here at the bottom. It was under $20. I picked it up in a size small and I will put any sizing information up on the screen as we go. I'm also very interested in how this fits in the arm if I can wear it without a jacket or is it something that has to be layered up? Is the armhole too big? So I will also check that out but so far, I think that's gonna be a good one. And another great fall basic from Scoop. This is their t-shirt bodysuit. And now that I'm looking at it, this is really, really small. I maybe should have bought this in a medium. Okay, this is definitely tiny. However, this feels exactly like Skims. The material on this is absolutely delicious. And I will say when you get skims out of the packaging, it looks like there's no way that that's gonna fit and then it ends up working. So I'm curious to see what this looks like on, but it does have a crew neck. It does have cap sleeve. It is so incredibly soft, I can't get over it. It does have two snaps on the bottom. And in addition to this coffee color, it comes in four or so other colors, including a fantastic bright blue and bright green that I will probably go back after. If you like bright colors, sometimes it can be harder to find as we move into fall and winter. So I did wanna highlight those, but this is a nylon with 10% span. So it's gonna have great stretch to it. So this is gonna borderline on being a compression t-shirt, but I think I'm gonna really like it. Shirts like that are also great to layer up so you can have that smooth first layer. And then from Free Assembly, I do have these white jeans. So I ordered these because white jeans can also be really hard to find as soon as summer is over. And I quite love a white jean with a sweater well into winter. These are a pin tuck jean and I'm very surprised right now that they have a cuff. I just checked the listing and they did show that it had a cuff, but I did not pick up on that. This is not a cuff that you can roll down either. It is sewn in. I'm honestly not sure if I like that on these because we already have a lot going on with the seam down the front, then it meets at the cuff. Free Assembly is also calling this a cropped jean and they do have a 29 inch inseam, which on me is probably not gonna quite be cropped. I'm 5'2". So this is a style that I think might look really fun on taller girls where it really emphasizes the crop and the cuff where on me, I think it's just gonna look like it kind of ends at an odd length, but I will try them on. And if you are interested in these, they do come in a darker wash as well. All right, and in here, I do have this cropped bomber jacket from No Boundaries. This is a faux leather bomber jacket. It does have silver hardware, and I picked this up in a medium. Let's see. The bomber jacket is definitely a trend that I'm here for. I think it looks casual, but it looks cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. So I did size up as I often do in No Boundaries. And so I think that's why it's not as cropped as it's showing on the model. If you want it to sit up here, I would probably get this in your typical size, but I'm very happy with how this fits. I do have two pockets here in the front and I'm very happy with the faux leather. I think it looks really nice. It's only available in this black and it's under $25. I think that's an incredible price for this. I'm sure if I looked on Revolve right now for jackets that looked just like this, I would see some for $100, $200. So I think this is a great price at Walmart. And I've been loving the uptick of preppy that I've been seeing from the varsity collegiate look that really started last year and that's trickling its way down into more classic tailored styles including with the cardigan it's not that this type of cardigan is ever out it's not but I'm seeing this just as much as I'm seeing the chunky oversized cardigan it definitely has a little uptick in popularity this one from Free Assembly is so good. It feels like cashmere. It's very, very soft. And I think the color on this is perfect. They are calling this brown antelope. It's available in a couple of other colors, including navy, which I've been loving all the navy recently. It's $20, which for this look, this color, and how versatile this item is, it's going to fly out the door. I know this one's gonna go really quickly. Wear this over a dress, wear this with your jeans, wear it with your trousers, wear it opened, wear it buttoned up as a top. This is a good one. And I have just been loving the red burgundy that Scoop has done this year. I ordered it in their best-selling little sweater dress. 
They did this last year and I see why it is so popular. If you like a shorter dress, I would really check this one out. It does have a high neck and it has a full back so you can get away with a regular bra on this one. And it's form fitted until you get to the waist. And then it has a little flirty flare as you start to get into the skirt. Online they show this as a mini dress. On me it does hit me a little bit lower. And even though they're calling this a sweater dress, think more like a sweater knit. It is pretty lightweight. It comes in a couple of other colors, including black, which I think is a can't miss. But I did pick it up in this color to go with Scoop's satin bomber jacket, which I am very surprised at how small this packaging is for what online looks like an oversized satin bomber. So we will see. It's also available in black, which I think would be a really good buy. Okay, I bought their Satin Bomber last year and this one is totally different. This is super lightweight. I would use the term jacket loosely. It is very thin, which again will be really great as we transition into fall. Okay, so this is completely different from what I thought, but I quite like it. Think a blouse weight. It's very thin, but it's that perfect lightweight layer when you don't need a full jacket, but you think maybe when I go inside somewhere, I might be a little chilly or I'm not quite sure what temp to expect. This would be a great jacket. I'm probably gonna go ahead and order it in black for the airport. And it has this really pretty, almost pleat detail at the neckline. On the listing, it does show that it has two pockets. They are sewn up, kind of like nicer suit pockets. I also see that on the inside there is a pocket, so I'm assuming I can just cut that open, but they do come sewn up, so. I did wanna point that out, but it does have a nice oversized sleeve. And now I'm noticing the pleat actually goes all the way around, which does make it kind of gather at the shoulder, which I think kind of emphasizes the fun oversized look. Definitely, I'm using the term jacket super, super loosely. And I do also have a puff sleeve top underneath it, so kind of keep that in mind. I am very happy with this. This was, this was a good surprise, and the jacket is $32. However, if you are looking for a jacket, I did pick this one up from Sofia Vergara. It is a trench coat, which I think regardless of your climate, you probably need. The material does kind of feel like a nylon, kind of canvas. I did pick this up in a size small and I'll go ahead and throw it on. Wow, I think this one is so pretty. So last year I found in general Sophia's jackets ran a little small. This one I wouldn't size down, but it's roomy on its own. So you also don't have to size up to get that look. It hits me below the knee. I think this is such a nice looking jacket, a classic staple in your wardrobe. In addition to the black, it does also come in an animal print. I am very intrigued on the animal print and this is under 50 which speaking of animal print, I think it's the exact same print as this dress from Sophia. I cannot wait to try this one on. It looks really beautiful online. Okay, I'm shocked. This dress looks so pretty already. I hope it looks just as good on. So the fabric is different than I thought. I was expecting a thinner, more satin-like material. And although it does have a slight sheen to it, this is thicker and has more of a weight to it than I would have originally thought. I think that makes the dress look a lot nicer. So it's a faux wrap. It's sewn in, which I actually like the faux wraps better. You're not constantly having to worry about your dress completely coming undone. Done. And I don't know if you can tell, but instead of having a matching belt all the way around, it has this sewn in panel and the fabric for the belt is just on the side. So you can either bow it or knot it off right here. You don't have to worry about it sliding around or staying in place. I think I'm going to love that. And then the whole back is elastic. Then whenever you get to the bottom, it does have this great ruffle detail that tulips, I think it's just going to be so pretty. It has long sleeves. You do have two buttons on the cuff and I'm expecting this to kind of have a blousy fit up top. I think this is so pretty. So thank you very much, Sophia. You're doing the most. This dress was $32. I did pick it up in a size small. I think the animal print is very pretty on this. And I know it's kind of aggressive to be talking about the holidays already, but this dress is also available in a red and green that I think would be perfect for those dressier events for the holiday season. And at $32, it will sell out before that time gets here. So I would have that on your radar. And I did share this top in my last unboxing in black, but I liked it so much I picked it up in this creamy white. This is just a classic fitting a little short sleeve sweater. It is lightweight. It also has that cashmere feel to it. I don't know what Free Assembly is putting in their sweaters this year, but they feel really, really nice. Free Assembly is calling this a shrunken sweater. I don't want that to throw you guys off on the listing because it is not. It is, think, 
very classic styling as far as the sweater goes. It's $18 and it's available in a couple of other colors, including a stripe. This is another one that is a classic staple that you will be happy you have in your fall wardrobe. Next up are these shoes from Time and True, which I cannot wait to get my hands on these. They are a, what I hope, a good look for less for the Birkenstock corduroy clogs, which those will run you $142. These from Time and True are under 20 and they are so pretty. Oh my gosh. I think these are absolutely adorable. So the cream does have this corduroy look to it, but under this link, there's about six different options and some of them just have a smooth suede look. It does have silver hardware. I picked these up in a size nine. I'm gonna throw these on and see if they fit true to size, but I also really like the footbed on these. Time and True has done Birkenstock looks for less in the past that have had that harder footbed that I would say Birkenstock is known for, but this has a really soft footbed. Okay, I have them on, they do fit true to size and I think they are absolutely adorable. Now you have to already be a fan of the Birkenstock clog look to probably fully appreciate these, but they are way more comfortable than Birkenstocks are. I got my first Birkenstock pair a few years ago and I did not realize there was this crazy break-in process. You do not have to worry about those with the time and true pair. And since these are so light and I'm very hard on my shoes, I'm probably going to scotch guard or do some kind of protectant on them. And I just got this in, so I wanted to give it a shout out. It is a rug from the My Texas House collection, which this is part of her back to college line. I loved every single rug, so I would keep it in mind for more than just college. And this is her Eloise rug. I did pick it up in the five by seven. I think this rug is gorgeous. It's bright and yet muted at the same time. It's colorful. We have blue and pink. We got that butter yellow, but then it still looks neutral, kind of all wrapped into one. I think it is very pretty. This is the five by seven size. I also picked up her runner in her bright floral print, and I'm actually actively looking for places here at the office or at my house for her other patterns. I think they're all really good. My Texas house rugs notoriously go very fast. And yes, I know this is a fall fashion haul, but this is a gorgeous rug. I love it. We'll have any of the patterns and sizes that are still in stock listed below. All right, I'm seeing lots of denim in here and I'm sounding the alarm. This is going to sell out so fast. And I, I know I always try to point out the things that are gonna go quickly, but I can tell y'all as soon as the internet finds out about these, they're going to be gone. It is these denim bustiers from Scoop. And I was actually so worried about them being sold out that I went ahead and ordered them in both colors in different sizes just to make sure I had my base covered. So I got it in the blue denim. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It is a darker denim. It does have tank straps. It's a functional zipper here in the front. It has the piping here, which is what gives it that bustier look. It does have a peplum and then it's open here in the front. And then it's also available in a washed black denim that I did pick up in a size small. So the hardware on the black is silver and the zipper on the blue denim is a brassy gold. Oh, I don't even know which one of these I like more. So I will definitely put the sizing info up on the screen and how they showed this styled on the website is with the matching barrel jeans. So I did also pick that up to make a denim on denim look. I'm really curious to see these on. I picked them up in a size four. I think some of the barrel jeans we've been seeing look like rodeo clowns. I think this is gonna look a lot more subtle. And I also got the jeans in the matching black, just like with the tops, depending on which wash you get does change the hardware color. And these are gonna be a shorter jean. They have a 28 inch inseam and that's on purpose so it can have that more full barrel look. Whether you get this as a matching set or you just pick up the jeans. I think this pair in particular is one that's gonna look so nice with heels. And it's a trendy pair of jeans from Scoop under $30. It's another one that I would not expect to last long. And then in here I do see I have one more Scoop item. During the Nordstrom sale, I did pick up the Free People bomber jacket. I thought it just had a really cool, distressed, lived-in look. Another item that I should have just waited and gotten at Walmart because I saw Scoop did a super similar version. It does come in two colors. I picked it up in the black. And this one does have more of that distressed look in the leather. I really like the bomber jackets either to be cropped like the No Boundaries one is, 
or to be more oversized. This one kind of looks like something in between in my typical size. I will say it looks like this on the website as well. So for how I like to wear bomber jackets more casually, a little bit more oversized, I probably would size one up in this. But this one does fit true to size, so that's really personal preference on how you like to wear it. It's also available in a brown distressed option. All right, I think we're up to our last stack here, people. Okay, I'm gonna really keep an open mind about this next outfit. It was what I was most excited for, but it is not what I was expecting. Once again, the color is off from the website, and this is the first time in today's video that I would prefer the color that I saw online, but it is this suit. Online, they show this as a fun, hot pink. In person, this leans very purple. Think this is like a true magenta. Now, I will say this color makes a little bit more sense for a fall release, but I was just really wanting that bright pink. I'm gonna keep an open mind though. I'm gonna try it on together. I do really like Sophia suiting. So the top is this single button blazer. You have this notched collar. You have two suit pockets in the front. You also have an additional pocket right here and the inside is lined in a matching color in a satin material. It does also have shoulder pads. Oh, it's a great fit. I'm still undecided about the color, but it has a really, really nice fit. So here's the matching trouser, which I actually think kind of regardless of the color, if you can have suiting all in one color, it's gonna automatically make it look more expensive, more designer. It does have this pleating here in the front. It has pockets, belt loops, and it does look more like a straight leg. This also looks really long. It does have a 32 inch inseam. In general, if you're taller, Sophia is probably your friend at Walmart. And I did get this in a size four. The longer that I'm looking at this, the more it's growing on me. I actually don't hate it with the Sophia shirt that I have on underneath. Let me know, do you like this? Would you wear it? If color is not your thing, it is also available in black. Oh, and I've already unboxed these, but I did want to give them a shout out. They're from Time and True, and they are this little court sneaker. They have a very tonal, light, metallic stripe here on the side that kind of looks like it's an upside down V. It does remind me a lot of the Vejas brand sneakers, which those are hundreds of dollars. These from Time and True, I want to say we're somewhere in the $20 mark. So if you're looking for just a classic court sneaker that's going to go with a lot this upcoming season, this so far is my pick. I really like these. I did pick them up in a size nine. Oh my gosh, I was hoping these were going to be in today's order. These are the Time and True tunics and I lived in these last year. They're just the perfect casual running around top. You can throw them on with leggings. You're gonna have bum coverage. I picked these up in a size small and you can see they are nice and oversized. As a matter of fact, I just saw on the tag here, they have it listed as oversized. You have a high-low hem and a side slit. It has a crew neckline and a drop sleeve. It feels super soft. It kind of feels like a chenille fabric. It's still lightweight though, so another one that is perfect for transition wear or later in the season, you can layer these up. I got it in the cream as well as the black. It's available in a couple of other colors and these go so quickly every year. They're around $16. This might've been my most worn item last year, whether I was around my house or just running errands. It is just one of those items in your closet that you don't have to think about. You can just throw on and go. Okay, so we're getting down to it. There is a denim handbag that I hope is what's in this box from Time and True. I've been talking about the denim bag trend all year. And when I saw it on Walmart's website, I just thought it looked like a really great fall interpretation. And yes, that is what's in this bag. I also like the little size of it. I think this is such a great bag. So this is a more medium to smaller bag. If you're familiar with the Marc Jacobs tote, this would be their smaller size. And Time and True is actually calling this their mini box tote. I did see online, they have dropped some plaids in the larger version. So we'll link that below if you are looking for a work tote or kind of a throw all tote. But I liked that this one had the darker wash denim. It does have brown trim. You can carry it by the top handle or it does also have a crossbody strap. This is a great brown and the denim wash on this just looks like a fall denim to me. It does have adjustable straps and the hardware is this brassy gold color that does kind of look like your favorite pair of blue jeans. So this is what it looks like if you want to wear it like a crossbody. You could also zip the strap up and wear it like a shoulder bag. So you do have a lot of options with this one. On the inside you do have an open compartment with a slip pocket on one side. 
and then you do have a zipper pocket on the other and then it does have a little button top closure i think this is an awesome fall bag so i take it back walmart i know i roasted you in the last video but y'all are dropping some awesome fall handbags oh and this bag is under 20 dollars we are down to the last box i think i know what's in here and my expectations for this are very high but we'll go ahead and make today's secret emoji be the blue jean denim emoji since i feel like i had so much of that in today's video and i'm not complaining i'm here for it so leave me that below in the comment section so i know you stuck it out with me to the end of the video and we are on our very last item in case anyone from Walmart shipping is watching, the tearaway boxes are so nice. <laughs> now I'm just getting picky. Now I'm just getting picky. All right, so what I have in here is a sweatsuit from Avia in white, which I mentioned before, finding good white sweats on a budget. I don't know why that's so hard, but it is. So I actually saw the jacket drop first online and then I hunted down the matching pant. That's another thing. Okay, I love Walmart. You guys know, like if you bust me open, just little rollback smiley faces will come out. I love Walmart. But why whenever there's a matching set online that I can see in the photo, do they not suggest me the matching piece? I don't know why they make me go on a quest to find it, but I'm, I was up for the challenge, so I did. I'm so excited about this. So. You might notice that this does look like a bomber jacket, but it's not a typical bomber jacket because it is a sweatsuit. So it's lightly fleece lined. The hardware is also white, which I like when jackets do that. It just looks more expensive. You guys, this is fantastic. I feel like I look more put together than if I was just in a zip up hoodie, but I'm still super cozy. This is another one that I think people just don't know about because I think it would sell out very quickly. You do have little slip pockets here on the side. It does have this seam detail that goes in the back. I mean, I really didn't know that the sweatshirt could be elevated, but Avia has done that. And so these are the matching joggers that I did pick up in a size medium. Since Avia is an athletic brand, I was worried these might be too fitted. So I did size one up. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm not entirely sure that I needed to size up to a medium, but I think regardless, I'll like it just as much oversized as well. The pants are also lightly fleece lined. They have elastic in the waist. And then they have elastic at the bottom, of course, because they are a jogger. It comes in several other color options, including that vintage gray that is so popular that I think I would also like. But I think this looks chic in the all white, which is not something I would typically say about a sweatsuit. So I feel like we ended on a very good item. And I think we also all know now that I really like bomber jacket. So each of these pieces individually are under $20. I would wear them together, I would wear them apart. So even if you're not a sweatpant person, I would consider the top, because you could throw this on with leggings, you could throw this on with jeans. I think it has a much nicer look than just loungewear. But that does wrap up today's Walmart Fall New Arrivals video. I would love to know below in the comments which item was your favorite. I would also really like to know what color are you most excited about for fall? Who knew? that I was gonna be so into burgundy. I have never really cared for the color, but I think Walmart's doing such a good job this season, whether it's Sophia's line or Scoop's line. So let me know below what your favorite fall color is. What are you looking for? If you're interested in anything that I shared today, it will be below in the description box, as well as over on the pinned comment. And if you love Walmart, hit the subscribe button, because there is a lot of Walmart fall headed your way. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see y'all in the next one.